With us and new allegations of government corruption tonight in South Blooming Grove after the mayor's home there were sold for 10 times its value and residents say unwanted projects are being pushed through. News 12's Blaze Gomez has the exclusive report. Things are changing fast in the tiny village of South Blooming Grove. It appears that at every board meeting, it's already been decided and they approve it. Activist Don Sulka met us outside this colonial era home while it was suddenly demolished Wednesday to talk about what she says is going on behind the scenes. Decisions are being made privately. There's plans for the property to become a kosher food store, but a public meeting for neighbors to weigh in on the project isn't until next week. Residents wonder why the owner would demolish the house here before plans are approved. They also wonder why these trailers are showing up at the mayor's home that he sold for 10 times the market value. Online records show Mayor Collage sold the home to an LLC in March for $4.6 million. The county has it appraised for just over $464,000. And Collage previously told us he still lives here as a renter. South Blooming Grove is town concrete and has seen an influx of Hasidic residents with new ideas for the village and enough votes to bring in fresh faces on the board. This is not what we want and, and more and more um, developers are just buying land and decimating it. Solka says village leaders are reviewing 10 commercial and large residential projects during a water emergency that's left residents with dirty water or no water for decades. <laughs> I stopped into Village Hall to speak with the mayor or village attorney about concerns, but was told no one was there. The mayor later responded by email and said to file a FOIL request for information. The folks here told us off camera police would be called and we'd be arrested if we stepped foot on the property. In South Blooming Grove, Blaze Gomez, News 12. Residents are also concerned about clear cutting for an alleged housing development on the former Lake Ann property, and they gave us these pictures. Stay with News 12 for updates and developments on this continuing story.